questions. Well, they need a more fundamental, richer understanding of human behavior. They need a periodic table of human actions, the basic stable building blocks that remain consistent in every human form. I found this absolutely groundbreaking paper by Jillian and Neji called Autism and the Making of Emotion AI, Disability as Resource for Surveillance Capitalism. And I recommend everybody go read this. This will all be in the Dre dossier on Substack. Go subscribe and follow. And this paper gave me the whole angle because it argued that autism hasn't just been studied in a healthcare sense, but that it's been systemically exploited for rhetorical, conceptual, and material resource for building surveillance technology. And the brutal capitalist logic here is that if you want AI to recognize normal human behavior, you first have to teach it what normal is. The best way oftentimes to define the center is to map out the edges. And then the unique, often more consistent and less socially mass behavioral data sets of autistic individuals provide a perfect training data set. There's a lot of research that shows that AI systems are being trained on a lot of behavioral markers in autism such as eye gazing patterns and facial expressions, motor skills like movement kinematics and stimming or vocal prosody and communication styles. For AI that's struggling with a reflexivity problem, data from people who may be less likely to alter their behavior when under observation would actually be a goldmine in this instance because it provides a more stable and predictable baseline. And it won't just be singling them out either because their data will become this raw material that will help refine these AI tools that will ultimately be used to monitor and sort everyone.